Yo, what's up people? Uh, we'll mostly be talking about six new cards uh, from um, history collection. However, I also want to talk about the alternative arts for a second. We got a new blue eyes art, a new red eyes art, and one dark kitchen girl art. Um, the only good one here is red eyes art. The blue eyes one just looks funny in a bad way. If this was a blue eyes toon dragon alternative art, sure, because it looks like a toon dragon. But it doesn't, so it looks bad. And the Dark Magician Girl just looks weird, uncanny, and not great at all. The Red Eyes looks pretty decent though. So yeah, the Red Eyes is the only good alternative art here. Can't wait for a new print of Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, and Dark Magician Girl coming to the TCG. We certainly need it those. Regardless, we got six new um, cards, one per anime. We don't care about sevens here, as we shouldn't. Dual Monsters card, uh, I don't know this reference of course, because, well, never really watched Dual Monsters. Dual Tower Alcatraz, like the Prison Alcatraz, that's interesting. It's a field spell, at the start of the battle phase, activate its effect, each player can reveal a monster from their deck. Except the monster with question attack, and if they do, the battle monster face down. The player that revealed the monster with the highest attack, especially all monsters from the hand, if they do it, can attack directly. Not great. Once per turn during the end phase, you can activate its effect, if this card is still on the field during the end phase for the next turn, destroy all cards on the field. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things you could say, but I'm just going to say one thing, this card is hot garbage, this is not playable. Like, Blue Eyes could theoretically play this, but why would I? Yeah, I'm just not like, impressed by these. So, next we have Dual Academy, uh, I think it's pretty cute that we actually got this, like, image of the island. I wonder if they recycled an asset from the GX game or something. So yeah, we got Dual Academy. It's also field spell, these are all field spells, level 1 5 these one is actually a continuous spell, so it's not. This card gains effects based on types of monsters on the field. Warrior Beast Pyro, once per turn if you activate the trap card, you can target on card your opponent's controls, destroy it. Pyro support! Pink can finally shut the fuck up, we got Pyro support. Pyros like to use traps, and if, if a volcanic deck uses for example a trap, they can now get to pop a card. So... Congratulations, P. You got your Pyro support. You got your Felgrand support. You can finally start shutting your fucking mouth. Epic. Um, in general, though. For any Warrior Beast Pyro deck, uh, that's actually pretty decent. Um, just getting an additional pop. In a grind game, this can definitely add up. Dinosaur Sea Serpent Thunder. What's the turn if you activate a spell card, can inflict damage to your opponent? Hmm, that's an irrelevant effect. Sheen Fairy Fiend, what's the turn if you activate a monster effect, you can activate a monster control, gets the attack. So, really, if you're using this, you're using it for the trap side of things. So this card's really just while you're beast and pyro support, the other types aren't great. Um, and I mean, additional pop every turn can be really great if you have a trap heavy deck. Don't know which decks would run it, but. Stellar Knight, maybe? <laughs> or Volcanics, you know? But yeah, Pyro uh, support is here. Pain can finally, well, stop existing. The reason to exist has stopped because you got Pyro support. It directly mentions Pyro. It directly helps Volcanic decks. This is your Volcanic support, my dude. Enjoy it. Congratulations. This is the 5 East card. Art looks sick. You actually got Yusei and Trudge. From the first episode of 5Ds, by the way. I think this has to be the first episode, right? Yeah. Riding Duel! Acceleration! Well, ready set duel, I like this one. The new spell. You can only activate one card's card name per turn. When this card resolves with control, no other cards can add a secret monster from your deck to your hand. What? Wait, I thought we were supposed to get like bad cards here! A straight up synchron search and not just synchron deal with any synchron. Yo, somebody call 037 Wolf. He's gonna, he's gonna fall in love with this card. He can. He, 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 what? I don't care about the other effects. This is fucking huge. Add any synchron monster from your deck to your hand. This can even add synchron carrier. Explorer. Well, granted, Explorer isn't that relevant post level even synchron, I believe, but still. I was expecting like gimmicky cool cards, not a straight up synchron searcher. What? The 
Fuck. I'm positively impressed. Nice Konami, we actually got... I was expected the most much needed additional synchron search card randomly in this set. Wow, okay, and it also has other effects. So keep in mind, anything positive on this card whatsoever is going to be a free bonus. This card can literally do this and people will play it free off in synchron. Once per turn, during your standby phase, play a Sigma counter on this card. On this card. Okay, now I have to read that one... Um, what was it called? Signal Warrior? What's the name? Yeah. It can remove... Yeah, so Signal Warrior was that one synchro we once had. Wait, let me... We can look this up. Signal Warrior. We can look at this. It also is the whole signal counter thing. But the most important part is that it can remove signal counter from anywhere on the field. I mean, the 7th effect is draw a card, the 10th effect is destroy a card on the field and targeting. So, could be relevant at some point, maybe. Okay, what's the During your stat by face, place one single count, so if you do want to use one of the high-end effects of single warrior with this card. Well, good luck, you're gonna need to wait 7 turns. <laughs> you can remove two signal counters from your field. Wait, when does signal warrior place them? Ah, during the standby, so it's really slow still. Now you can remove two signal cards from your field and set this Facebook card to the graveyard. Draw two cards and set one card from your hand to the graveyard. Oh wow, so actually you get Angel Baton on top of things. This is a very good effect considering that it's on top of, you know, the first effect. Like, it's really slow, it's basically a shard of greed that also requires you to set a card from your hand to the grave. But, you have to consider here... It's free. They need to remove this from the field, otherwise you're getting this effect. And it's a ridiculous effect if it goes off. Um, yeah, this card ridiculous. It's a three of in the synchron. Um, I might pick the deck up. This makes the deck really good. It's just getting additional searching. Uh, I flabbergasted. I didn't expect this good of a card. Overlay network. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You know, the set so far has been entertaining. I like this set. Overlay network, continuous spell. Can only use one effect of this card name once per turn. Oh, the first effect only, never mind. Okay. During a main phase, you can activate one of these effects. Dark face of monster control has a level special when one monster the same level from your hand or graveyard to defense. This effect is negated because you can special monster from extract for the rest of the set except exceed monsters. Wait. Can only use the first effect of this card name once per turn, but there's no second effect. What? I'm confused with the wording here. Target one Xyz monster you control and one card attached to that card's owner to it to its owner sound to it. Hmm, that's really interesting. Yeah, I can see this being played in something. I'm not sure which decks will play this, but it's not terrible. It's not great either. Yeah, I, I mean, I could see this being played. I mean, just both effects can be decent. Especially the second effect must have weird interactions, right? So attach materials from your deck and then add them to your hands as a, as a way to complicated way of searching things. Battle Royal mode is joining. I swear, if this doesn't half your life points, I'm gonna be disappointed. But again, you only took 2000 damage, so maybe it doesn't half. Continuous spell. Act activates a card by targeting one effect monster on the field. The first two times that that target will be destroyed by battle each turn, it is not destroyed. When the target is destroyed by battle, the player that destroyed it gains 2000 life points. So there's the reference. If the player, if the turn player's opponent takes better effect damage, then they can apply this effect. Plus, summon level four or lower monster from your hand or deck, and if you do lose out, you lose thousand life points. So there it is. The monster is entering the battle royale, so you take damage. So let me talk, think again. If the turn player's opponent takes battle or effect damage, they can apply this effect. I should love for lower monster from your hand to deck, and if they do, you start life points. Huh. That's garbage. It's fun, but it's garbage. Into the Vrains. Ah, yes, everyone's uh, favorite anime. They actually have Yusaku on the card. This might be an issue with importing, I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure how important that is. I know that usual cards with protagonist on the actual artwork take a while to get important, so let's see. Into the Vrains, normal spell. I can only activate one card this card name per turn. I swear, the stones I do want the Master Rule 4, I'm gonna be pissed. First summon one monster from your hand, but its effects are negated, then immediately after this effect resolves. Link summon using that monster you control. This link summon cannot be negated, also your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when a monster is link summoned this way. Huh. If a link monster you control is a strong battle card effect on cards in your grave, you can match this card and the monster with the same original type as the monster from your grave after your hand. Ja, yeah, dat seems pretty bad. Just like the Vreens anime, Golem. But ja, yeah, pretty bad card, pretty bad card. Um, interesting card. Insanely good card. Pyro support, so Bane can shut the fuck up. It's also pretty good in general for these decks. And an interesting card, but also bad. All in all, I see this as an absolute win. Especially the 5D's card, that's great. That's the Pyro support, ja. Um, yeah. Bane finally got what he asked for. Make sure to congratulate him. That's the video. Goodbye.